Hey guys, welcome back to Schofield Welding. This is Jake Schofield here with you. Guys, if you don't know who I am, I am a rig welder out of Colorado. Um, been on the road for a little while with my little family, my wife Eliza, my baby boy Balin, and then our two hounds, which are labs. Always call a dog a hound. But anyways, guys, hey, what we're getting ready to do on this episode is we're going to do kind of a voiceover. And what it's going to be is just a bunch of welding, just a bunch of filmed welding that we've been doing lately. It's a bunch of practice TIG welding, actually, is what we've been doing. Guys, on this Money Monday, I want to talk to you about being committed. Now, I've talked to you guys before about being committed and and the things that go along with it. Guys, no matter what happens in your life, you need to set some kind of goal to better your life. There's always something that you can get better at in your job that you are already currently in. Uh, guys, if you're looking to make more money, if you're looking to make your life better, get better at what you're already doing. All right. Become more proficient at it. Become faster at it. Become the best at what you do. Um, been listening to a lot of books about this. And one of the quickest ways to increase your pay is to become better at what you do. Now, guys, that means being committed. All right. And I know there's going to be a lot of people on here. I am maxed out at what I do. All right. No, you're not. Okay. I want you to look into the company that you are hired into or whatever you're doing and see. I mean, even if you are a business owner, look into what you are already doing. Find people that are doing it and realize that, hey, there's somebody that's making more money than you are at doing what you do. I know there are people that make way more money than I do in the welding industry. And so I kind of look at those people. I'm like, all right, how are they doing this? How are they getting to that amount of income? And how can I get to that point? Now, one of the things you guys are going to notice is in this video, we're TIG welding. All right. We are trying to get our hand back into different processes of welding. We got to become more well-rounded. Basically, what I've been doing for the last eight years, nine years, is basically almost strictly downhill. All right, almost everything I've done is downhill welding, and uh, I've done a little bit of uphill. A lot of 16-inch, 750 wall was all uphill, and but very, very little TIG welding. All right, now, I have set myself up for an Achilles heel, basically, is what I've done. And when everything kind of crashes out, if the only thing that is available is TIG welding, and I have not put my time in to learning this process and becoming proficient at it and committing to it, I will have lost everything again, all right? 2015, that was my biggest problem. I did not know how to TIG weld. I did not know how to really uphill weld either. Basically, I had created an Achilles heel that at that point, when everything kind of crashed out in the oil industry, I had nowhere to go. I couldn't go anywhere because I couldn't, I was not proficient in techniques, other techniques, other welding techniques, and other uh, skills, so guys, being committed, all right, that is such a big thing that everybody needs to kind of focus in on. I don't care if you want to be a welder, if aerospace, if you're a mechanic, if you're whatever you are, learn to be the best, be the best, get your name out there, and just always be learning new things. You've got to commit to what you are going to be good at and what you have decided to make a living at. And commit to it and move that industry forward with you being at the head of it, all right? Read the books. Watch the YouTube channels. Uh, read the articles. Be knowledgeable in the industry that you're involved in, which is committing to that industry. Now, they say one of the things Warren Buffett is known for is, yeah, he's really known for his investing. He's really known at his – I mean, he's one of the richest men in the world. I'm pretty sure he is, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I haven't really done the study on it. He spends 85% of his day studying studying, reading the newspapers, reading articles, reading anything he can. And that allows him to make the, make, to have the ability to make the billion dollar decisions. Now guys, that, that, that all comes from him committing to being the best at what he does. And he is the best at what he does. So we're going to move that back into what we're doing. So one of the things that I need to become good at is all my processes and not just good at it, great at it. All right. Everybody can be good at something. Or you can be proficient at something, but if you are not great at it, you, you've really lowered your standard on that. So just try to be the very, very best that you can be at it. The other thing is, is read other articles. Learn how to weld exotic metals. Learn how to weld aluminum. Learn how to 
uh, do sheet metal work, how to weld pipe, how to do iron work, how to do all sorts of different stuff. Guys, in the end, this is going to be one of the best decisions you're going to make, all right? Everybody have a great rest of your day. Be blessed. Commit to what you are doing. Become the best at what you can do. Later, help you make more money. It's going to help people know who you are because you are great at what you do. All right? Everybody have a great rest of your day. Be blessed. We'll talk to you later.